Hello guys, uh, today I'll be sharing some ideas on principle of list squares. The fundamental principle of list squares states that the most probable value for any quantity or something that we observe or measure uh, that may be like length or angles, etc. If we repetitively observe or measure the quantity and consider that each observation has equal weight, then the most probable value for the quantity is the value for which the sum of the square of residuals is minimum. Okay. Mathematically, like this, uh, the sum of the square of residuals is goes to minimum. Okay. If there are n residuals calculated from n observations, and those uh, residuals actually mean they are the differences between the each observed value and the most probable value okay let's consider n number of observations of equal weight the term it as uh, g1 g2 g3 up to gn for a quantity g and let m be the most probable value of g okay then we can calculate each of the residuals by subtracting observation values from the most probable value, okay? And these are our residuals, V1, V2, V3, and so on, uh, up to Pn, okay? And one thing we have to uh, take into consideration, that is, these residuals behave similar to errors and can be used interchangeably in the normal distribution function, uh, that is the probability distribution function, that is just, over here in this formula we can always substitute for this v okay okay and we can drive a small kind of this uh, equation this term where k is constant for an observation okay uh, where k is s divided by root over pi and s is one over sigma root two okay for a defined observation the sigma is uh, constant the same for that observation, all the same. So this value for s is also constant, and s divided by this root under pi is equal to k. This k is also constant, okay? Okay, now let's calculate the probability of occurrence of residuals, okay? Okay, this is the plot of a probability distribution function, fx, in this curve, the y-axis represents the error's probability of occurrence, okay? And along the x-axis is the error's magnitude or error value. Okay, now, if uh, we consider an error or um, let's say in our case, the residue, phi star, and uh, y star, is the value of the function at that point, at that point V star, then, then the value of probability can be given by Y star times del V, where del V is the uh, very small increment in V and the area inside this, this figure, okay? The area inside this, Trapezoid type of figure, this gives the probability of occurrence of the residual V star. Okay, the Y star from the probability density function, uh, the value can be calculated for Y star as k e to the power negative at the square V star square. Okay, uh, as I've already shown in the previous slide. And now, uh, in the similar way, we can calculate the probabilities for um, each residuals, okay? Each residuals that we have for n observations of the quantity g. And uh, the probability of occurrence of the residuals can be obtained by multiplying this y ordinance value that we have calculated in the previous slide with uh, the small increment delta v as shown in the previous slide, okay? Like this, the probability for occurrence of v1 
is P1, uh, which is Y1 times del V and given by Ke times Ke to the power of negative H square, P1 square, and they all should be multiplied by del V. In the similar way, we can calculate probability for the second observation, third observation, fourth, and so on up to nth observations. Okay.